Imagine holding the entire universe in the palm of your hand through a single equation that explains everything. This is the dream that drives physicists worldwide. It's the quest for the theory of everything, uniting all forces and particles under one elegant framework. Newton showed the same laws govern falling apples and orbiting planets. Maxwell united electricity and magnetism. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest unification of all. A theory of everything could revolutionize technology. It might help us understand the birth of the universe. It could shed light on the nature of consciousness. The implications are as vast as the cosmos itself. Let's start with Einstein's masterpiece, General Relativity. It's a theory of gravity, but unlike anything before it, Einstein realized that gravity isn't a force, it's the curvature of space and time. Imagine space-time as a rubber sheet. Massive objects like stars create dips in this sheet. Planets orbit by following these curves. General relativity has passed every test thrown at it. It predicted the bending of light by gravity. It explained the precession of Mercury's orbit. More recently, it predicted gravitational waves. The theory works flawlessly for large objects and vast distances. Now let's zoom into the world of the very small. Here, quantum mechanics reigns supreme. It's a realm of probabilities and uncertainties. Particles can be in multiple places at once. Quantum mechanics explains the behavior of atoms and subatomic particles. Its predictions are incredibly accurate. So we have two incredibly successful theories. General relativity explains gravity and the large-scale structure of the universe. Quantum mechanics governs the microscopic world of particles. Both have been tested extensively. Both work brilliantly in their domains. But here's the problem. They don't play well together. When we try to apply quantum mechanics to gravity, things fall apart. The conflict becomes apparent in extreme conditions. Inside black holes, for instance, or at the birth of the universe. In these scenarios, we need both theories. But our equations break down. They give nonsensical answers, like infinite values. It's as if the universe is speaking two different languages, and we can't find a translator. A complete theory should explain everything, from quarks to quasars. The conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics suggests we're missing something crucial. Resolving this conflict could unlock new realms of knowledge and technology. Enter string theory, a bold attempt to bridge the gap. What if particles aren't point-like dots, but tiny vibrating strings? Different vibration patterns create different particles. It's like a cosmic symphony, where the music of the strings creates the universe. String theory naturally includes gravity, but it needs extra dimensions to work. These dimensions are too small to see directly. String theory is complex and hard to test experimentally. While string theory attempts to quantize gravity by changing our view of particles, loop quantum gravity takes a different approach. It starts with Einstein's insights about space and time and tries to apply quantum principles to them directly. The result is a granular view of space-time itself. Instead of a smooth continuum, space would be made of tiny discrete units, like atoms of space. In loop quantum gravity, these spatial atoms are connected in a complex web. Imagine a vast network of intersecting loops, hence the name. This network would underlie all of space and time. Gravity emerges from the interactions within this network. One of the strengths of loop quantum gravity is that it doesn't require extra dimensions. It works within the four dimensions we observe. However, loop quantum gravity faces its own challenges. Like string theory, it's difficult to test experimentally. Despite these hurdles, loop quantum gravity remains an active area of research. The ultimate arbiter in science is experiment. To prove their worth, string theory and loop quantum gravity need to make testable predictions. Two cosmic phenomena offer tantalizing possibilities, black holes and the Big Bang. These extreme environments push our theories to their limits. They're natural laboratories for quantum gravity effects. Black holes are particularly intriguing. At their centers, matter is crushed to infinite density, according to general relativity. But quantum mechanics forbids such infinities. Both string theory and loop quantum gravity offer potential solutions. They suggest ways that quantum effects might resolve the singularity at a black hole's core. Observing these effects could provide crucial evidence. The Big Bang presents another opportunity. In its earliest moments, the entire universe was compressed to a point. Different theories make different predictions about these first instants. 
Recent advancements have opened new avenues for testing. Each new discovery narrows the field of possibilities.